Probably mouth for war or something like that. Anything off of vulgar. Simply awesome. If you are a metal fan, then you should love vulgar display of power. That is all. Um, what is up, douchebags? How you doing? Give me one second here. Ugh. Ready, but not ready. Um, ouch. So anyway, let's get these. Football picks out of the way, so those of you, those of you who are late to the book is Frankie Four Figures. Um, I think I said Freddy last week. Frankie Four Fingers. It's not Freddy. Freddy Got Fingers. Not Frankie. Freddy Got Fingers the movie, and Frankie Four Fingers is the character from a movie. Are you still with me? Anyway, um, so I've got the Patriots winning over the Steelers in a close one. I think it's going to be a battle. I think it's going to be... Now I blow up, but you know, if Pittsburgh can't score touchdowns, then I don't see how they're going to beat the Patriots. That's my whole theory behind that one. And you know what? I think Atlanta is finally due, and I think that because they have the home game as well, and that high-powered offense of theirs is going to overcome the Green Bay Packers. Plus, the uh, Packers have a little bit of a question there, uh, questionable secondary. So I think that uh, Matty Ice is finally going to get his uh, NFC championship and uh, move on to the Super Bowl and play the Patriots. Kind of bookish. Gotta get to the bookish. But anyway, what's up, douchebags? How you doing? I got a little bit of alcohol here. Just a little bit. Um, I'm scared of it, though. A little bit scared. I'm trying anyway. I'm not scared. Something different this week. <sighs> different but the same. <laughs> I'll explain it to you in a second. Let me just chase that. It was so hard. Anyway, finally found the 12-year age stuff. And they rebranded it. It used to have a different one. There's this purple thing going on here. I used to drink the 12-year age religiously, but when I moved down here, I couldn't find a liquor store that actually carried it. So I had to switch it up a little bit. So I went back to the regular Tully, which was cheaper. But <clears throat> anyway... Not much going on uh, in, in the wonderful world of reviews or anything like that because nothing's come out. It's like a dry spell. I mean, Underworld, I'm not really planning on seeing Underworld. I haven't seen any of the Underworlds in the theater, and I don't plan on starting with this one. And, you know, the, uh, what is it uh, is coming out to? Uh, Resident Evil. It's like another, you know, January is just a mediocre month for movies as far as, like, uh, science fiction or comics and things like that. It's always been kind of a weak month. The last year, I think February was when we got the Deadpool, which was a nice surprise for February. But we have to wait until March this year to get our first CBM. That is Logan. Logan is coming. They just released the trailer for it, the last trailer for that movie. And I gotta say, hell yeah, that looks really good. Um, you know, you got somebody who has claws, you know, as their primary weapon. Metal, indestructible metal claws. It's about time they showed some blood. So I, for one, am very, very happy that uh, this one is rated R. But anyway, I don't know what else to say about that. I'm going to qu quickly run through this stuff and then blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, uh, last week, I feel so incomplete now because I had Vinny here last week. And it, these shows are so much better if I have a guest. So I've got an idea. Uh -huh. There's an idea that's springing up in Greg's head. Not a very brilliant idea. Don't expect to be blown away, but I'm going to give it to you after I touch on all these bases and everything like that. Uh, you know, I'm planning a little tour, a little, a little uh, North American tour for uh, 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 this week's bullshit. Maybe once uh, every couple of months I go to a different place and see a different thing, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, Spider-Man, i got to say, i got a bad feeling about this. 
what I'm saying it. Now, Joe's talking earlier, I saw in comments, he said, we're all going to eat crow. Joe says we're going to all eat crow once this movie comes out, and I hope he's right. So I feel like Ripley and Aliens when she was talking to Vasquez. I hope you're right. I really do. <laughs> but I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this. You know, when you try to please too many people, you have a tendency of pleasing no one. So I got a bad feeling about this. I'm not going to just say Spider-Man's going to be a good movie because Marvel got the rights to it and all of a sudden blah, 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 blah. Because they did a good job with him in Civil War doesn't necessarily mean his entire feature film is going to be good. So I'm fucking skeptical as all hell. And actually, I just, I really sincerely have a bad feeling about this movie. I just, I have actually. I've had for a while. I haven't shared it with anybody. But now I'm sharing it with you all. Chung chung, chung chung, chung chung. I get so distracted by this. Anyway, um, so that's all I gotta say about that. I mean, the whole Flash Thompson thing is definitely leaving a bad taste in my mouth. He may not beat the shit out of me, but words hurt. Um, all right, you know. I come from an era with sticks and stones. <laughs> you know, may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Um, <laughs> that's a different time, right? It was a different time, you know? Now words hurt. All of a sudden, words hurt. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying they don't hurt, but I'm saying get over it. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, revisiting. <laughs> I've been revisiting. You know, I'm about to discredit myself right now. All the credibility that you guys had for me and you... You might actually have like an inkling of respect for some of the things I said. Probably going to take a big crap right now. <laughs> I just rewatched Arrow season three. And I got to say, I think I was wrong about that season. I didn't like it because season two was pretty damn good. Especially the second half of it. Um, <clears throat> so it, it was so good that it kind of overshadowed season three. But after, upon further review, I'm saying season three was pretty good. And I think that the guy that they got to play, uh, Raz al Ghul... You know, he was CW good. You know, you gotta gotta grade everything on that channel with a you know a curve. You know, like a like you know like a curve. Um yeah, see what I did there? <laughs> I'm brilliant! Brilliant, I says. No. No, it was it was pretty good. Um I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh I'm I don't have as much hate for Willa Holland and or aka Thea as much as a, as a lot of other people do, although she was really annoying as uh it, when she was and I think it was the first episode of season four when she was like, this is so cool. I was like, oh, come on. Oh, come on. You know, I like her when she's darker. And, you know, she, when her character's darker. But anyway. Well, anyway. So, yeah, I'm rewatching all those. And I'm on, I'm on season four right now. And season four so far is just like whatever. But I remember that one kind of tapering off into a decent place. So, I don't know. I don't hate the show. I don't. I, don't, I think I actually, you know, um, Stephen Amell is uh, really... I think it really does a good job with that role. So I don't keep on doing this. It's like I don't know what to do with my arms. <laughs> anyway, and then Agents of Shield is man and man and man, you know, taking the match rate of Mad Town. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. Um, I don't have a whole lot for you guys, so I'm really not going to go into too much of anything more, other than to say, uh, you know. Um, Jacob Fudge just opened up his... Wow, nice little freaking piece of dead air there. <laughs> Jacob Fudge just opened up his comic book shop. And, uh, uh, and that dude, that's freaking awesome. We should support our boy in any way that we can, man. It's awesome that he's going on, a, on, an entre on his entrepreneurial adventure. <laughs> so I'm very, very proud of him. I just wanted to put, put that out of that. It's, it's, he's, ha he's putting in a shit ton of work. And, um... Uh, you know, it's it's an awesome thing that he's doing. You know, taking uh, life by the horns is pretty much what it is, and doing something you, you love to do for a living. And that's I think everybody's dream is to be doing what you want to do for a living. Um, I want to play cards. <laughs> and somebody say you got to think about what would you do if you had a million dollars? Where would you move and everything like that? And I think I don't know. I probably play cards. <laughs> probably just play poker and <laughs> put away some money and let it, whatever. Anyway, boring stuff. Anyway, it got me thinking, you know, because uh, in that thread where we were talking about everything, I was, uh, you know, what uh, Jonathan is Magnum mentioned something about doing a podcast out there. And then 
Fudgy gave him a little comment about, uh, <laughs> yeah, like that'll ever happen or something like that. And then I put out there, you know, hey, T TWB at Uni's place um, or uh, Fudgy's place, whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, so I was thinking, I was like, you know, it's not actually a bad idea actually to start, you know, I wouldn't mind doing some traveling here and there just for one night at a time to just like, you know, maybe start throwing darts at a map and start, you know, going and seeing some of the, you know, some of the members of TDA and interviewing every single one of you if I can. Um, so I'm just floating the idea out there. Fudgy said he's uh, into it. So I'm going to go probably to his place first. And, uh, you know, all I just need to know in advance is like, what's the local hotel situation like? What's closest to you? Obviously, I'm either going to need to get picked up or Ubered to wherever you are, if that's possible, or cabs or whatever. Um, uh, so if possible, make sure that the hotel is in an area where I can easily access the, the places that I need to be. But I would definitely like to do, go out there and, uh, you know, do a nice little, little interview with our own Uni, Unibeam and uh, <coughs> get a nice tour of the uh, the new CB, CBS comic book shop. <laughs> um, what is it, Comic Relief Comics or Comic Relief? Um, CRC? Comic Relief Comics? I believe that's the name of it. Comic Relief Comics. So, uh... Like it on Facebook, <laughs> Comic Relief Comics. Shameless Jacob Fudge plug, plug right there. Anyway, but anyway, so I would like to come out there and see you guys, and I just wanted to get an idea how you all felt, felt about it. So, who would like for uh, the Mighty Bag of Douche to come to your place that you could have, you too, and you too can have 15 views worth of fame? Doesn't that sound nice? Doesn't that sound sweet? <laughs> you could be. 14 people fam more famous than you were yesterday. Just invite me to your town and I'll make that shit happen. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, seriously, guys. You know I did this all for fun. but um, <clears throat> Well, I had Vinny on last week and I thought that was a great video. Probably one of the best videos we've ever done. It was funny. We moved along quite a way. So I really do like doing interviews. So that's what got me thinking. Maybe it might be a good idea for me to take the show on the road, so to speak. You might miss, you know, you know. Uh, Fudgy the Islander fan here and fucking uh, my Lord of the Rings Mac, which, is, which isn't always in the freaking scene anymore. And by the way, look at this awesomeness over here. You know, that's that's the DC wall. That's awesome, isn't it? And that's all sorts of color going on over there. It's nice. So, yeah, it took a while to put those together. <clears throat> it took a while for them to come in. I ordered them, God, like a month ago, like somewhere around Christmas time, I ordered those banners. But they're nice. Their cloth banners are pretty good shape, too. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of. Uh, Maybe about 20 bucks, maybe 25. Uh, it could have been 30. No, they weren't that much. They're nice, though. I like them. They're good. But anyway, I'm going on too long here. I got nothing else to say. You want to know how I feel about Cap? You want to be fired from the Islanders? Did you guys even know? Did anybody even know? <laughs> I mean, nothing happens in, in the Islander world that anybody's really cared about. I, I couldn't wait. For the the assistant coach to take over, you see what I did there. Um, and we got an interim coach. His name's Doug Wade. Right? So I gave the joke away. Sue me. Um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna stop now because I feel like this is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> but anyway, love you guys. Uh, be good to yourself. Do something good for yourself. I can't even, see. I'm the one that fucking came up with this stupid phrase, and I can't even remember how to say it just one of those days uh do something good for yourself do something good for somebody else happy inauguration day uh, i'm sure some of you are happy and others are not so happy whatever it is what it is it's a temp job get over it if you're unhappy <laughs> peace